Planet Dolan. What are peace involved a six-year legal battle after a man dropped something through the roof of his own home? Where can you find an 18-ton replica of a man's body parts scaled up from when he struck it in a mold? Here are 10 of the strangest monuments you can find around the world. Hey there, I'm Hellbent. I'm here to learn you suspiciously amazing facts that I didn't just make up. Number 10. On the banks of Lake Geneva in Switzerland sits an 8 meter tall fork sticking out of the water. The fork was an art installation for the Alimentarium's food museum, and was installed in 1995, removed the next year, then brought back 10 years later by popular demand. Since 2014, the Fork of Ave has been recognized by Guinness World Records as the world's tallest fork. Number 9. The Fuente del Angel Cadillo, or Fountain of the Fallen Angel, is an art installation from 1877 that sits in Madrid, Spain. And while it isn't as strange as a giant fork, it's just an obsessively detailed statue of a hellish scene straight out of Dante's Inferno. It comes complete with demons, lizards, and snakes on the fountain's pedestal. Number 8. The strange thing about this statue isn't really what you see, a heroic remembrance of Wenceslas I. The Duke of Bohemia was assassinated in 935 at the age of 28, with his brother being complicit in the murder plot. However, his popularity before the assassination led to him being revered as a hero. He was posthumously considered to be a king and then eventually a saint. He's now considered the patron saint of Czech people, and this statue commemorates that. Number 7. One of the most famous statues in Belgium is this one, sitting in downtown Brussels. In Flemish, the name Mannequin Piss translates approximately to Little Pisser. Bet you can't figure out why. Go ahead, take a guess. Number 6. We're heading back to the Czech Republic for this one. In Prague, you might find yourself walking down a street with what looks like a suicide victim hanging off the roof of a building. Don't worry, it's not. What you're actually seeing is a statue of Sigmund Freud. And he's not hanging from the pole by his neck. He's actually holding onto the beam with his hand and looking down, probably judging you. Actually, the statue is a statement by the artist about his uncertainty of the fate of intellectualism in the future. Number 5. Chile's Atacama Desert is one of the driest places on Earth, and that also makes it one of the emptiest places on Earth. That is, until you see the 36-foot tall stone hand reaching out of the sand like the last little bit of a giant being buried in quicksand. This is the Mano di Desierto, the hand of the desert, and it's a sculptor's homage to human helplessness and vulnerability. It's not his only sculpture either. He has other sculptures around the world, all of them with the same hand growing out of the ground idea. They reach out of a park in Madrid, a sidewalk in Venice, and a beach in Uruguay. I wish one would spring out of the ground right now and hand me a pronunciation guide. Number 4. The Tiger and the Turtle Magic Mountain in Germany isn't a statue or a typical art installation of any kind. It's like a staircase, if that staircase was also a roller coaster. The piece was built with zinc and steel, which just happened to be left over from a nearby mining operation. And yes, it is a walkable roller coaster. But no, you can't walk the loop, and that is disappointing, but unfortunately, physics still exists, so there's not too much you can do about that. Maybe like a lot of leg presses and some magnetic boots if you're lucky. I wouldn't try it though. If you're wondering about the title, no, there are no tigers or turtles there. The tiger refers to the speed of the roller coaster and the turtle is you, slowly walking through the track. Number 3. Untitled 1986, better known as the Headington Shark, is an art piece in Oxford, England. And, uh, yeah, it's exactly what it looks like. A big shark crashing through the roof of a house. The thing is, that shark really wasn't planned to be an art piece of any kind. Bill Heine, a local radio personality, dropped a 25-foot fiberglass shark through the roof of his own home on August 9, 1986, the 41st anniversary of the atomic bomb being dropped on the city of Nagasaki. Over the next six years, Heine fought with the government about whether or not the shark could stay, and he won. In 2016, Heine's son bought the home to preserve the shark as a local landmark. Number 2 this is Lipus, a 40-foot tall sculpture in the middle of La Défense, the biggest business district in Paris. Now wait a minute, that just looks like a giant 
thumb, you might be thinking. And yes, you'd be correct. Puss means thumb. It's like the whole hand in the desert thing in Chile, but it's just a giant 18 ton thumb in the middle of Paris. And no, the sculptor isn't the same. Actually, the sculptor's name is Caesar Baldacini, and what you're seeing is actually an absurdly enlarged scale model replica of his own thumb built in 1965. His thing was to make a mold in the shape of his thumb, then build huge versions of it as artistic monuments. This is the best known example. Number one. This statue is basically like a version of Santa Claus, but this Santa doesn't have toys in his bag. He has children, and he doesn't deliver the children, he eats them. You think you're unsettled by this thing now? It gets worse. See, nobody actually knows why this thing is here. The fountain sculpture in Bern, Switzerland dates all the way back to 1546, nearly 500 years ago. But who built it, or why? Those are unsolved mysteries. It could be a reference to Greek mythology or sort of a boogeyman to warn children to be good. The most likely answer is the most unfortunate one. The statue is wearing a pointed yellow hat similar to the ones that Jewish people were forced to wear at the time. So there's a strong possibility that this was an expression of anti-semitism at the time, but whatever its original purpose was has been lost to time. Now it's just art. Creepy horrific art. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.